Hi, I'm Kim Harless. I'm the program director at the Burke County Public Library. The library offers a variety of programs for our patrons, and one of the favorite programs that we have are our craft classes. Because we're not able to offer any programs right now, we thought we would do some video tutorials of some crafts that you could possibly um, do at home with supplies that are ready, ready available. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make window stars. This is an eight point star. And this is a 16 point star. I'm going to show you how to do both of these today. Um, when you hang these up in the window, the light shines through the transparent paper and it makes it like a sun catcher. Very pretty. The supplies that you will need today are tissue paper. This is just something that I have here at my house. You can use any color. Um, you can use kite paper, which is like this. It's like a wax paper. Uh, transparent colored um, wax paper. You can use um, copy paper, colored copy paper. You can use post-it notes. Anything um, that you can kind of see through a little bit so that the sun can come through. The other supplies you will need are a ruler, scissors, a glue stick or uh, white glue, Elmer's glue, a pen, a pencil, and a piece of cardstock or uh, cardboard that you cut into a rectangle that's like three and a quarter by six and a quarter. It does not have to be exact. If you use the um, post-it notes, these are three by five. They're perfect. They're already cut for you. Today, I'm going to use um, this green. I'm going to actually make a two-colored this light green and um, the pattern green. You can use whatever colors you want, variety of colors, all one color, does not matter, it's your choice. So the first thing we're gonna do is to cut our rectangles. We need eight for the eight point and 16 uh, for the 16 point. We're gonna do the eight point first. Paper here. This is where your template comes in handy. If you don't want to do a template and you just want to measure and cut, that's fine. So we're going to line it up. And trace. I folded my tissue paper in half, so I'm doing two at one time. Okay, and when, when you're doing your tissue paper, sometimes your tissue paper will be kind of folded or bent or creased. Um, if that happens, if, you're, if you've had yours all folded up, um, you can take an iron on a low setting and just press out those creases. Very simple. Takes just a few seconds and you'll be all set to go. All right. I have my pieces already. We're going to start with our patterned one. What we're going to do is, this is the way I do it. I fold it in half first. So that gives me the little crease down the center and shows me where I have to bring my corners in to meet. So we're going to fold each corner in to the center. Like a paper airplane. Like this. And you're going to do that on both sides. Okay, so it looks 
looks like this. And then on one of the sides, you're going to fold in again from the end to the corner. Just like a paper airplane. So it looks like a little kite. So you need eight total. I'm doing four pattern for um, plain green. So we're going to make sure we get those. I have one, two, three, four pattern. Didn't want you to have to sit and watch me fold everything. And I have two plain, so I need to do two more plain. And just fold in half. Some tissue paper is a little bit thinner than the other, so it's a little bit harder to work with. I noticed that my pattern paper is a little bit thicker. And on the other side. And then in again. And I kind of like to um, use my fingernail and kind of make a little crease like that. So it kind of holds it, makes it like sharp edges. One more. This is very easy to do while you're watching TV, you can have all your pieces cut out and then just sit and fold them. Easy for kids to do. It's not hard. And in again. Okay, last one. And then what I like to do um, is just to put a little bit of glue on each, under each corner. Just very little, just to keep, it helps keep the flaps from flopping up. So next, we're going to assemble our um, star. So you can figure out what pattern. If you're using a bunch of different colors, you can figure out um, what pattern you want to use. Like this one, I did red, yellow, blue, green. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You figure out the pattern you want. Lay it all out. Figure it out. And then we'll glue when you're ready. I'm doing I'm alternating pattern, plain, pattern, plain. So we're going to start with our pattern one. We're going to work with the back side facing up and the skinny point will be facing um, towards the top. Okay, and then we're going to take our, which we can see there, and what we're going to do is you're going to uh, line up at the bottom of the point and go straight up that center crease. That's where it's going to line up. So we're going to put some glue down, just a little bit, doesn't take much. And then line up at the point at the bottom, right up the center. Like this. And then we're going to work our way all the way around. So we're going to put some glue. Line up at the bottom point. Straight, straight up the center. See how it's working out? Very 
very pretty on the window. Give some color to your windows. There's screen doors. We have them in the library um, on our back meeting room on the windows and it looks very pretty when the sun comes in. We have our exercise classes in there. It looks so pretty in the morning. All right, when you get to the very last one, you'll do the same on the one side. Line it up. Okay. And then you have to lift it up, pull this, and you're going to tuck it under, and then glue. And all done, we get our window star. Very simple. The 16 um, point. It just has a very little variation, nothing big. But you'll need 16 of your um, rectangles. Let me show it to you again. This is your 16. So you can figure out what colors you want to use if you're using all one color. All yellow is very pretty. It looks kind of like the sun. Okay. This one I'm going to do um, four different colors. I have some of them already done for you, but I'm going to do... Or more. Okay, so same way. Fold in half. Fold your corners in just like before. Everything the same. On both sides. Fold in again. Just make sure you get it um, the the center to meet, and you got a real sharp point because you want it to be the same on this. Okay. All right, so this is what we did for the other one. Now what we're going to do for this sixteen point is fold this side in too, so both sides will be the same. So it looks like, like this. So we need 16, so I have to do a few more here. <clears throat> Put your corners in. Fold them in again. On both sides. I was thinking you could probably use, because this is like, um, like a wax paper or a parchment paper. Um, you could have your kids, you could do them on parchment paper because it's very transparent. You could have your kids draw pictures on them. Um, that would look with color um, crayons, pencils, markers. Probably markers would look the best. That would be very um, vibrant on the window. And it would be their own little piece of artwork. There are a lot of different patterns for these window stars, very intricate ones, which have a lot of different folds, kind of like origami, where you have to do so many different things by just folding. And that's the way the window stars are. If you look on um, Pinterest or um, YouTube, you can find all kinds of um, tutorials 
four different ones that can be very, very intricate. But these are very basic. Okay, one more. I've used red, yellow, blue, and green. And this is the kite paper. <clears throat> And I actually bought this um, on Amazon. In different craft stores, you can um, probably purchase it too. And it can be used for or origami. figure out the pattern that you want to use. I am going to do blue, yellow, red, green, and then continue. So same way, upside down. Get sit down for a little bit there. Okay. You're going to put your glue on. We're going to do the same thing where you match up at the point, go straight up the center. Right at the center, so it looks like this, and work your way around. So I have blue, green, red, and yellow. Like I said, it's very simple. You can make them any way you want, any colors you want. And the uh, tissue paper does not have to be anything fancy. The tissue paper that I got is from the Dollar Tree. So it's very inexpensive craft or if you use um, copy paper that you might already have colored copy paper they have so many different color scrapbook paper I'm not sure because it's kind of it's it's thicker so you wouldn't be able to see through it so I would stick with the copy paper and you could have your kids um, draw on the copy paper I think I would fold them first and then let them draw on them. And, oops, upside down. Make sure you're always working with the back side facing up. But I think I would um, fold them into like the little um, triangle things, let them draw on them, and then glue them all together. Oops, wrong one. Last four, do blue, green, red, and yellow. Okay, same um, with this one. Glue the first side, or the very last one, glue the first one normal, and then lift up the last one, flip it down underneath, put your glue on, and then lay it back down. And you will get your 16 point window star. When you hang these on the window, because you will hang the um, You'll hang the um, bad side facing out because you want the sun to come through um, the good side. 
And what I would do on the um, the guy side, I guess it was. Uh, I put a piece of tape, just lay it flat on there, and then roll a piece of tape to stick on that piece so it doesn't um, ruin, so you can take them off and save them so it doesn't ruin um, your paper. So, and then I'm going to show you one I did make with the post-it notes so you can see that this is with the post-it notes. The paper is a little bit thicker, but it does, um, the the sun does shine through it. Um, I will show you some pictures of that um, at the end. Um, I'll put some pictures of the uh, the uh, window stars hanging on the window. So, so I hope that you um, understood our tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment on our Facebook um, page, or you can um, email us at bcpl at w e i r t o n dot l i b dot w b dot u s hope to see you next time bye here are some of the window stars that i have created that are in the library's back meeting room overlooking the river it's not a very sunny day out today but you can kind of see how the light shines through when the sun is bright it makes it a lot um, nicer. Good luck with your window stores.